What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. I try to keep this one short and sweet. Now, it baffled me to see that quote-unquote street dudes or street... See, I'm going to hopefully not curse through this one. It baffled me to see these so-called street dudes. I'm going to tell you something. I am not in the streets no more. Have you ever seen me glorify or, 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 or? No, you've never seen me glorify the street life. Even when I was rapping, I was always rapping about making it out the struggle, about getting money, the good things in life. Even when I didn't have any, I was still rapping like I had them. To manifest that. The truth, guys, is anyone from the streets will tell you this. Anyone really who is about that life doesn't want to be in that life, okay? If you really did live that life, your main objective in life is to <laughs> not be in that life no more. The only people who will promote to you or, or, or try to get you, let's say, used to terrible things or the streets or the street code, not that I believe in snitching, I don't, but I'm just telling you here, follow me. The only people who will try to just get you, uh, try to get you like, act like it's normal or act like a school or something to brag about are two types of people. People who haven't been in that life or people who got something to gain from you believing that they, this is a good thing or, you know, when they brag or whatever. Such as rappers, but not always rappers. I'm going to tell you such as who today. Quando Rondo put down his flag. Congratulations to Rondo. Quando, my bad. I, I never really listened to his music to keep it 100. But after the whole ordeal, as you see, I've covered him. And uh, I didn't really cover him. I'm not a journalist. I, told, I sent the message. And... I believe my message had reached because <clears throat> when he dropped his flag, he was using some things I said. I don't care for credit because this is not like I was a song and he stole my flow. This is not that. This is a message and I'm happy it reached if it did. My message was clear from the beginning. Wake up. All right, I don't just because I come here and I talk white. Don't think, don't take me for one of these boys. I really lived that life. I probably been more two more than all of these so-called street dudes, tough dudes on the internet claim to you that they've combined. That's why I am the way I am. That's why I'm against it. I tell you, go and get your money. Go and get, go and prosper. Go in and, 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 and I don't care if you're in school. Stay in school and finish. Work towards a better life. Now, hear me out. The internet, when when Kondo dropped his flag for a second, they was acting like... People was acting like people. People was acting like he he's in the wrong for it. As a people, you know we we're <laughs> you know we've entered dangerous realms right here when 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 somebody's trying to do positive and everybody's just attacking him. The comment sections was horrible. Not one positive comment. 
Not one good choice. Keep going. Hold on now. Wait a minute, bro. Hold up. The only thing that I've gained from being in the streets was PTSD. To this day, I'm not in the streets no more. I still get dreams, crazy dreams. I still can't enjoy my life to the fullest. Like, I be around white people now. And they just live life like, you know, just enjoy, it's normal. For me, it's not that easy, bro. I've been traumatized. You understand me? And that's me <laughs> who've left the streets. Why would a millionaire <laughs> who left the streets and, and, and is a millionaire not from trapping? Because if you're rich from trapping, you're gangbanging. I get it a little bit. But you're rich from music. And now that you've chose to put down the flag and just focus on whether it's music, or, or forget music, family. Instead of you, you're a grown man, you focus on your family. Like he said, the ones who really would cry if something would happen to them. Not the homies. Homies. There's no loyalty. Have you been locked up before? No visits from no homies. No calls from no homies. No letters. No money from the homies. The homies, the first thing they do when you get locked up is find your baby mom and try to slide in. That's the, rea that's the reality of the streets. While you in there with a bunch of men, who some of them might have life, and they know they might never see a woman again, so. You know, if you look like the guy from the last video I covered, that weirdo YouTuber, snitch YouTuber, if you look like that, <laughs> even if you look manly, Understand, he's never going to see a woman. So he, he, he might look like the closest thing to a woman he can get his hands on while he... <laughs> this, there's nothing to brag about all this, going, getting locked up or being in the streets, especially at an older age. I want to highlight two things, and I'm out of here. Before I do, Kondo... Good choice, brother. If you're watching this condo, excellent choice. I support you. Look at Hassan Campbell. He really did. Like people might say, oh, don't even disrespect him. He really caught bodies, multiple. Some he beat on a technicality. Others he served time for. Bodies. A lot of y'all rapping and acting tough on the internet, bragging about other people's bodies. The people who really did do the deed are traumatized just like me from even the thought of it, okay? So I'm going to tell you this, highlight two things, and I'm out. Remember how I said it's only people who haven't lived that life that are bragging about it, or people who got something to gain. So people who haven't lived that life, Example, example, a six nine, okay. Or you see these white rappers coming up. Uh, it's funny; it goes viral. But they coming up, Tom. Like, what was six nine's lyrics? Shots, 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 shots. What was it? Shots. shots. Not saying that the black people don't have violent lyrics. But I'm just saying it's easier for you when you're away from that to kind of, you know, when you're in that. That's why people, that's why Chicago people get mad when you call it Chirac. <laughs> because they're actually in the war zone. <laughs> okay, when you're outside hyping it up, I get it now. There's a disconnect. Because the people who actually 
endured the trauma are traumatized. PTSD is no joke. I'm just now starting to learn what was wrong with me as a grown man. Why it's hard for me to... I'm hard to love, bro. Look at it. I'm hard to love. So it's nothing fun about it. I just broke down the people who pretend. It's easier to pretend than be when you're really in it. You realize your words have weight, okay? Or the kids, like the younger kids. That's that's a that's the people who actually they classify with the people who got something to gain. Let's go on to them. Again, when you're not in the life, it's easy to da da da. When you're in it, you're trying to get away from it, not get deeper in it. People who aren't in that life, never been around, they will pre pretend to be in that life. Now, the people who got something to gain, hold on. I've been saving the best for last. You ready for this? Make sure I'm still recording. You ready for this? This is about to be the eye opener. What I tell you when I did the condo video? What I tell you? Do you remember? I told you this gang stuff and take it in is extortion. Basically, you gotta pay a bunch of, whether it's crib, blood, whoever, you gotta pay them to be around to give you the stamp on your music. So when people hear your music, oh, you talk all that tough talk. Oh, he must be a real dude because he's around a bunch of blue or red, like we've seen with 6 ix 9 My friend, there's no such thing as a famous criminal in the what? In the words of DJ Academics, there's no such thing. I say it again. There's no such thing as a famous criminal. I'll say it again. There is no such thing as a famous criminal. You're either famous or you're a criminal. You try to put both together, it's over. So when a celebrity, it maybe it took him a little bit of trauma. And I'm not faulting him on a King Von situation. He was in, his crew was trying to defend him. Self defense. Von knew what he was asking for, walking up to Kondo. Oh, let me fight. You telling me after the dude known for all these packs to have been you telling me all these bodies and all these packs, now you wanna fight me? I don't trust it. Of course I would have did the same. It's not happy, I get it, I'm sad, I get it, he has family too, but so does his bodies had families too. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. Sad to say. But anyway, the people that was upset at, at, at Kondo leaving, I want us to take a look at this 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 nonsense here. And let me get some water with me because I need it. This is not easy to cover. I'm gonna show you exactly um the responses from two people and what they both have to gain from giving such a nonsense response response. I'm gonna paint you a clear picture that is in reality world. Reality, okay? Let's take a look. 
the first one that came out when he dropped his flag. You can't drop your flag and say you not NH no more. And go to the hood and get your put off. Don't cry now. Actually, <clears throat> let me redo with the voice. You know, I like to really give it to you uh, realistic, right? So we can really paint the picture. So, <clears throat> you can't drop your flag and say you're not NH no more. And go to the hood and get your put off. Don't cry now. We lose homies all the time. Not everybody gonna ride. You is a goofy slash internet banger anyway. Holla. J Stone, let me tell you something, J Stone. The only goofy in this situation is the grown man. I mean, you, you're, you're old, let's be honest. The grown man who's 30 plus telling the 20 year old that, oh, you can't just get out the gang, huh? When Cripping started, I had Bloods. I don't know about Bloods, but I know Crips. It started as a movement to protect black people from other uh, races of gangs that was in, in, in the country or city. So it was kind of a positive thing. It was providing food protection for the people and no crimes involved. That's why you heard people like Kwando say, you can be a dentist and be a crip. That's not true anymore. Anymore. Crip is no longer the same as a Black Panther Party or like a conscious community. It's not that anymore. It is pretty obvious what it is now. And when you're a celebrity, you're risking a RICO. On top of that, you pay an extortion money and you're not getting protected instead. You get no loyalty, no nothing, and you have to watch. He had to witness what happened to his homie in LA. It wasn't told to him by the grapevine. He didn't read it on Instagram. He had to not only witness it, he had to be grazed by the same bullets that could have took him, but instead took the passenger on the other side. I'm trying my best not to get in details because I uh, know YouTube. But you get me? So you got the grown man telling the youngster, you got to get your put off. We lose homies all the time. Listen, I'm from where people get lost all the time. And it's not normal. It is not normal. It should never be normal, and it should never be normalized. Here's what Jay Stone has to gain. Jay Stone is a, a, apparently allegedly from. I mean, you talk like it. He's you know the people responsible for I guess initiation or out I don't know. Here's why this grown man is upset. He's not upset because a kid is trying to do positive and go like him. You know, when you lose a homie instead of learning from it and being like, damn, I want to stop this from happening to me or anyone else. And went the route like you seem to have went, where you lose homies all the time. This is not why he, Jay Stone is upset. Jay Stone is upset. He's not getting any more extortion money. Oh, you no longer a crib? So who can I extort? I mean, it seems Jay Stone is living nice, but he, I don't know if he's rich. I don't know. I don't know what he'd do for money. But it seemed like uh, when, when, when he was a, when Kondo was a crib, 
being an internet uh, goofy, as you call them, didn't seem to bother you because those extortion checks was coming in. All right, y'all was getting paid. Eh, y'all wasn't protected. Word on the street is the reason what happened to Lil Pop is because Kondo wasn't trying to pay up extortion, which I spoke about. And I was just speculating. Keep in mind, I was just using Kondo and Wack as examples to tell you what happens in the music industry. Because extortion, blackmail, is, is very common in the industry. If you're not down to get set up, they will literally, trigger warning guys, trigger warning. My audience don't need no trigger warning. They will literally, I'm not gonna describe it, but you get where I'm going, okay? We've all heard the Illuminati, the sacrifices. Sacrifices happen, but they're not a ritual with some guys in a room or a mash or whatever. It's not that. It's you have to, they make you do stuff so they can blackmail you for it or put you in dirty situations such as the, the, the alleged uh, home video of Nipsey Hussle with allegedly another dude. Yes, Nipsey Hussle, allegedly. WAC 100 has it. Why does he have it? So he can blackmail him and blackmail him even even if in the afterlife he's still blackmailing him. He's still getting paid from Lauren London or his estate. So you see what I'm saying? This is what people like Jay Stone have to gain from this. Because why would a grown man tell you that instead of support you? Look at Hassan Campbell. Kondo, you got certified street people behind you. Okay? I can't talk crazy, it's YouTube, but you give me. A lot of folks support you. A lot of folks who've been through what you've been through support you. The only people not supporting you are those who are now not gonna get <laughs> extortion money. Am I wrong? But here's what other people who are upset have to gain. You see, I've said there was two categories. One who pretends is disconnected from the actual trauma and one who has something to gain from your trauma or, 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 or negative lifestyle. Now, Julio Fuyo, trust me, I'm, Julio, I'm getting ready to tear you a new one right now. So wait, Julio is like, if you know the diagram, is like a circle mixed together. Julio is mixed because He's pretending, but also he has something to gain. He made a very distasteful comment. Very, someone, so listen, someone is, is just, someone is grieving. And I get it, you went through worse or similar, I get it. But this, I can't even call him something. Let's try to say bullying. This human centipede looking dude, human cockroach looking individual. All right. You do look like the cockroach, huh? Oh boy, this one gives me a headache. Let's read it. Dog homeboy. Uh, passed away. In Cali, he trying to squash beef and throw his flag. It's too late for that nephew. Crying like laughing emojis. Oh my God. Now let's tear him a new one. And after that, I'm done. I'm ending the video. I'm not going to keep talking. Because I'm... Julio, this is a message to you directly. I looked up Julio because I wanted to know where his mind is at. Turns out, me and Julio.
Me and Julio are the same age. Now Julio, Julio's whole career is based off of street stuff. Who I smoke, Kiki. Who I smoke, Fifi. Right. So you try to get cool points by coming in just distasteful, saying the stupidest, talking about, oh, you quit now? Basically, what you just said is, you quit now? You throwing a flag? It's too late. Ha, ha, ha. So you're another black man. You see him trying to do good and quit the, 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 the life. And not only are you laughing at the fact that he just lost somebody, Laughing, crying, laughing, rolling on the floor, ruffle. One second. Julio, I'm trying to be quiet. It's, it's like what? Six in the morning. Wow. Julio. Fulio, Fulio, you cockroach-looking individual. Keep it together. Allah, give me the strength to go through this. Take away the gimmick from Fulio, Fulio. Let's really take his... Have you ever heard a Julio song, Julio? Have you ever heard one? If you haven't, I'm going to give you my opinion. This is no offense or, or, or clowning or harassment or bullying. My opinion is it's pure garbage, pure trash. I wouldn't listen to it if you paid me. You take away the the gimmick and the, and the and the stuff surrounding the music, the beef, the who I smoke, the back and forth. You take all the the the, the negativity and the and the and the BS aside. You take it away, and what are you left with? Pure trash, garbage of the first class. The type of trash you put it in the. Like, I got trash bags in the house. But then I might have, like, let's say, the little paper bag from the restaurant. And then, you know, I throw away the bottle caps, the, you know, tissues, whatever. And then you take that trash and put it in a bigger trash. You are that paper bag trash. Because I might spit on it. I might. <sighs> it is what it is, bruh. Roaches, all that. So. They do look like a roach, but anyway, you take away the gimmick and the foolery and the buffoonery, and you're left with nothing but garbage music. Unlistenable music. Unlistenable. I try to give it a chance, but it's unlistenable. It's unlistenable. The only reason you are who you are is because of the stuff surrounding it, the, the, the drama. You get it. Can't even say that on YouTube without. So all of that. So you try to get cool points by clowning the 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 the, the KO the 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 pass away, the passing of another black man, and the fact that he's trying to do good. Fulio, this isn't this is this is not even your business. This is not true beef. But when you see somebody doing good and trying to trying to do good, okay? If you're not inspired by it and you're trying to redo it, which you should, by the way. I mean, you've lost, you're famous now, you're rich, but you still, okay. You're rich and famous, but you're still doing that? Okay. You see Young Thug? Why is a millionaire in jail? Because he's beefing with another millionaire. Oh, okay. 
and they pop, pop, pop at each other. Dirty to the point where they're doing it at each other's mama house. I like Young Thug music, but it, facts is facts. You don't see Elon Musk pulling up on Bill Gates with the FN and the 223 with the switch and da 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 at his mama house. That's a black people issue. That's a mentality issue. This is new slavery. So Fulio, again, it's not your business. This is not even your business. Don't get cool points by that, okay? I get it. Eh, you're going to attract your little NPC followers who think you're, you're, you're tough, super tough human, but you're human. You get sad, mad, just like all of us. Don't get selfish and ignore the fact that, because you, you might tell people who you beefing with that you're smoking on tiki or whatever their name is. To them, it might, it might not, but like, it's not normal, all of this, what we're doing to each other. As our ancestors were kings. We went from ruling the world. We invented science, mathematics, electricity, civilization, architecture. We built pyramids. And now we're, you see the trap we're in mentally? That we keep propagating, got grown men fueling the fire instead of being wise old man and saying, stop it. Uh, they're like, you can't take the flag off. You got to go to the hood, blood in, blood out. I lose homies all the time. This is not Vietnam. I grew up in the Middle East around real wars. And I'm telling you, it's not normal. I moved out here trying to seek normal. Then I find you, I won't allow it. Julio, shut up. If you have nothing good to say, nothing positive to say, to add on to, to the, if you can't even tell your fellow person in the industry, a colleague, keep your head up. I don't even listen to Kwan though, but I DM him, keep your head up. And I made the video the rest. I tried not to disrespect. And I said, keep your head up because he's grieving. I'm grieving. I just lost my friend not too long ago. Long live most paid. And it changed me. I'm stuck. It's not normal. It's not normal. It's nothing normal about it. Don't let anybody try to convince you it's normal and you're supposed to live this military uh, warhead. No, you're in a first world country. People sell organs to come to America seeking a better life. But you, you're in America. You got the passport that people sell their whole life for. They trade organs for it. You got the citizenship. And instead of trying to do better, you're trying to go backwards. You're going, oh my God. Again, if you have nothing good to say, I need you to shut up. And if anybody is thinking what they're doing is, wow, amazing, I hope this is an eye-opener for you, okay? Julio Fuyo's music is garbage. Taste on, eh, mediocre. Mentality makes it garbage. Because I don't think he getting paid for music. Maybe he's still in the streets or he get that extortion money. Well, guess what? No more. Should have did a PPP or something. Grown man talking about you can't drop the flag. Cripping was not based. Listen, cripping and all these, most of these now violent gangs, the black ones started off as a political movement to, to help the people. If you're a true crip, according to you, what type of positive organization that you said you can be a dentist and be a crip? What type of positive organization, since you're not a gang, what type of positive organization 
you tell somebody who's trying to leave for a better life, just put it through. He's not, he's not snitching. He's not doing nothing. He's saying, I'm done. I just lost. I just see my homie. I'm done. I'm rich. I'm famous. I want to. I can't catch a Rico. I'm done. And you tell him, no. Blood in, blood out. Got to come to the hood. Get the. So obviously, Crippen is not like Black Lives Matter. It's not like I said Black Panthers. It's not like what's a positive organization. You understand what I'm saying? I hope this resonates with you and you understand and see through the BS. Taking in is extortion. Because you can hire white, white mass security, off-duty officers, and you're really protected. Kondo. You don't need to pay these dudes to have blue and take pics. You don't need it. You've seen where the blue takes you. Keep the flag down. Don't pick it back up. The only flag you should wave is, I don't have a, I didn't think hard enough for that one. I'm 6 a.m. I don't have jokes or, or analogies for you. And I wasn't even joking when I said that mass music is trash. It is pure garbage. Don't believe me? Go listen to it. Go listen to it. And pretend you don't know what the beef and the back and forth is. Just take it as music, like as a musical critic. Listen, I like I like Lil B. If I enjoy Lil B and I can't enjoy you, you gotta be horrible. Like you gotta be. Lil B is fire. It takes a certain person to see the art in Lil B, but I can't see the art in you. All I see is buffoonery and foolery and, and, and negativity being spread. Poison. Mental poison to your own people. Destruction. Sold, packaged nicely in a form of music to your own people. You're my age. Me and you are the same age, Julio. That's why I'm, I've been kind of getting at you. But look at how I think, look at how you think. You've made it out with the music. Look at Savage, 21. He's rich now, he's a millionaire. Instead of trying to hit girls on a caliber of Amber Rose, you're more concerned with standing in the streets and being 10 toes down. Well, you keep that up, it's gonna be 10 feet in the ground. See, I rap too. I do it better than you. I'm not the greatest rapper, but you are horrible. Get in the studio. Put your flag down, whatever your flag is. I don't know. I'll keep up with the, with the teams. I know gang members. I've changed their life and convinced them to some won't leave it, they just, you know, it is what it is, but that's what I do. I make, I, t I turn the negative to a positive. I'm not perfect. I'm still dealing with my trauma. That being said, I pray for Kondo. I pray for anybody in this. This is senseless violence. It has to stop. It has to stop. Get the extortionists and the black mailers out the music industry so we can have less gatekeepers and more good music. Not, what was his song? I'm tortured. He said some garbage. Look it up. It's your boy, AK. Okay. Hit the like button. Smash subscribe button. Documentary in the works. I'll see you in the next one.